Now, once you're inside your Google Doc, there are many things you can do. It's very similar to Microsoft Word. So what I'm basically going to do right now is just go through the menu options and the formatting options and all the other word processing features. And hopefully you'll have a much better handle of it. So first of all, under file, you can share. You can also share the document by hitting this blue button. So that's, that's the same thing. There's a whole lesson on sharing in a previous tutorial. You can open up a new Google Drive item <clears throat> right from the file, a document, a spreadsheet, presentation, drawing a form. You can open up a file from your computer. You can rename the document. You can make a copy of the document. You can organize the document. This is very important because sometimes if your Google Drive is really, really big and you're inside of a document and you forgot where it was, if you hit organize, it tells you where the document is. Currently, it's in the social studies department. And you can move it <clears throat> to a different file, to a different folder, I should say. So that's a very helpful thing that I use all the time, file, organize. You can move it to the trash. You can see the revision history. There's another whole tutorial on that. There's another whole tutorial on organizing your drive folder. You can change the language. You can download it. And not only can you download it, if you try to download something in Google Drive, it doesn't give you a choice of what to download it as. However, if you do it inside the Google Doc, you get more options. Word, an ODT, open document format, uh, rich text, plain text, a PDF, or a web page. Very cool. You can publish it to the web. You can also email any collaborators, uh, anyone who you've shared the document with that's editing it to you. If you editing it with you, if you click that, you send the email right to them, right, right from the document. Type the message here. Type the subject here. Click who you're sending it to, and there you go. And you can also email it as an attachment. In other words, it's going to be attached as a PDF, an actual file. Very, very cool. Uh, we skipped over publish to the web. Publish to the web means this document, it's kind of like um, setting the visibility to public on the web. The difference is if you publish it to the web, if I hit publish, um, it becomes a web page that can handle many, many more visitors. It can handle millions of visitors. And you can get an embed code if you publish it. So you'd click publish, you click embed, you can embed it onto a website, or you can get the link. It would be the link for a regular website. And anytime you make changes, it will automatically re republish when changes are made. Okay. So publishing it to the web is kind of like making it visible, but on a much larger scale where millions of people can go to. It's a regular website. And plus you can get an embed code. That actually is very helpful sometimes if you're embedding it onto a website. And then under page setup, this is good if you want to change the margins or from portrait to landscape or the entire page color. Under edit, undo and redo, which and they're both right here as well. Paste, control V. Okay, select all, select none, find and replace. Under view, there's different menu bars that <clears throat> you can view and not view. Insert, here's where a lot of the editing comes in. Google Docs makes it very easy for you to insert images, links, and other things. To insert an image, you can get it right off of your computer by uploading it. You can uh, search for an image right here. Okay. You can do search options right here. You can paste the URL to an image you know where it is online. You can actually take a screenshot 
You can do your photo albums, which are right in your Google Drive, or any other items in your Google Drive. So many different ways to insert an image. Once you do insert the image, if you click it once and then right click and go to image options, you can adjust the transparency of it. You can make it transparent, the brightness, the contrast. You can recolor it. There's so many things you can do. And if you want to undo all of that, press undo. Okay, so that's inserting an image. You can insert a link. right there. Okay, and the link is inserted right onto the image. Pretty cool. Another way to insert a link, by the way, is if you type a, a word, Highlight the word, right click it, and insert a link that way. That's the text and that's the link. And now every time you click it, it'll bring you to that. You can insert equations, drawings, Google drawings will be in another tutorial I do, but you can insert a Google drawing that you've made. All sorts of tables. Sometimes this is very handy if you're doing, um, Visual organizing. I do this when I do essay organizing. And there you go. Okay. Footnotes, special characters, page numbers, headers, footers, a table of contents. Um, also on the image, if you right click it, you can crop the image. And you can reset uh, the image to what it originally was. So going right down the list here, insert, we're up to format, it's the same basic formatting things, just like Microsoft Word, bold, italic, underline, strike through, font size, paragraph styles line spacing, aligning, and all of these things, by the way, clear formatting, are all up here too. Here's the clear formatting. Here are the bullet lists, the outlines. If you want to make an outline with your students, it, Google Docs automatically does it. You press enter and then tab, detail one. And if you press tab, again and then view again and then if you hold shift tab it vents back out so you can do that with the um, numbered lists and the outlines here's the line spacing and the justifies so everything we just did on the format is all up here you could also add a link insert a link this way The last thing on insert that I skipped over is table of contents. I will go over that in a later lesson. That can be very helpful as well if you have a large, large document. Uh, tools, spelling, research, word count, voice typing, very, very cool. Translate document. We're going to go all, over all of these tools in the next tutorial. Another insert table, same thing. And add-ons we will also go over in another tutorial. So this is basic formatting for Google Docs.